Hello, everyone. All right, today we are talking about how to save on your grocery bill when you ain't got no money. When you ain't got no money. Okay, so grocery prices are rising, and even if you have our wonderful Dining on a Dime cookbooks, 35% off right now, which you will save money if you get our cookbooks. You will definitely save money if you get our cookbooks. But how do I get one? You can order them at livingonadime.com in the link down below. Oh, okay. Or in the comments. Um, but I'm going to run through a few tips here. And if you guys have comments or questions, put them in the comment section and Mike will pull those for me to answer. And I will try to get to all of your questions. All right, here we go. The first tip is to buy chicken leg quarters instead of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now, if you get your boneless, skinless chicken breasts for, um, Oops, sorry, I did that wrong. Oh, I really did that wrong. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, this is not working. <laughs> you do? Oh. Okay, sorry, guys. Just click to that right there. I know, but I wanted it both on here so I could explain, but that's okay. Okay, so if you, here's the thing with boneless, skinless chicken breasts. If you can get them for 79 cents a pound or less, they're, oh, thank you. They're a good deal. If you're paying more than, 250 for boneless skinless but if you're paying 250 or more or less for boneless skinless then it's about the same to buy chicken quarters so you just kind of have to figure now um our viewer nancy she says i found 10 pounds of chicken quarters yesterday at walmart for 3.98 why did i only buy two bags i froze each piece individually on parchment paper so i could take out one at a time why are people afraid to buy this stuff? It made wonderful honey baked chicken. Nancy. Okay, so you can see here that she had a huge bag of boneless skin or a huge bag of chicken quarters. Well, maybe someday. Hold on. Where did it go? Uh, she lost the chicken quarters. I lost the chicken quarters. Okay, I don't know. What the heck happened here? Okay, that's really weird. I don't know what happened here. Okay, Time you baked. So you can see here, or not. Okay, wow, I don't know what's going on with today's show, but there's gonna be something exciting happening. Well, anyway, she got the chicken quarters. Now, here is how you use them. Okay, this is how you bake chicken quarters. This is the chicken quarters here. Now, most of the time, I just sprinkle with seasoned salt. I don't put oil or anything on there but if you wanted to you could put onions and bake it with onions or oranges and bake it with oranges now viewers sent me some of this montreal steak seasoning thank you you can see we've been enjoying it so i'm gonna try a little bit on here and then i'm just gonna put these puppies in the oven okay now, I'm gonna do it slow, about 300 degrees for two hours, 350 for 30 minutes if I need to boost it a little bit, but super easy, slow roasted chicken. Oh, oops, <laughs> there's my potato from the other day, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I guess I'll have to get my potato out. Whoops, well, that was a loss. Okay, so yeah, I sort of forgot my potatoes. I knew we were missing something at dinner. Okay. Uh, it's been a long day. Um, here. All right, so the chicken quarters, guys, what I do is I just throw them in the oven and roast them like that. And that's two pieces of chicken for both of us. It's a thigh and a leg, or for all of us. It's a thigh and a leg. Usually we only eat about four or five pieces. I usually eat one thigh and then the boys eat one or two pieces. But um, it is a huge way to save money. Now, Nancy only paid 39 cents a pound for those. That is darn tootin' good. It is. I mean, it's really, really good. And so um, 
So that's the first way that you can save. Now, the next way you can save is to start eating simpler meals. So eat your beans with your dinner. Yes, it's the typical dinner, but typical frugal food, but it's great for dinner as a filler. Now, you can also use meat, meat as a condiment. Now, I probably wouldn't use this much chicken in your chicken curry, but chicken curry is a really good way to stretch your meat. Potato soup with um, just a little bit of cheese on top and a little bit of bacon. You could use two. You could use two pieces of bacon instead of a whole package for four or five servings of potato soup. That is a really good one to stretch. Dining on a dime cookbook, guys. Recipes are on our website, livingonadime.com. Chicken noodle soup or chicken dumpling soup is another one. Now. When you use your meat as a condiment and not as a main ingredient, that is where you are going to save the most. So fill in with eggs, fill in with beans, lentils, any of those types of things, and you will be able to stretch it a whole lot further. Now, the next tip is stop buying junk. I will tell you, you see that EBT eligible? This really chaps my hide that you can use food stamps to buy these things. I'm sorry, but that is just wrong. Even if you don't have a refrigerator, there's no reason to be buying gummy snacks on food stamps. If you're getting food stamps, that's fine, but use them to actually buy food and stock up that food so that then when you're off food stamps, you can be getting yourself ahead. Think ahead. Don't just think, what's the easiest thing that I can do? Well, my kids are going to whine if I don't get them fruit gummies. Well, your kids will be perfectly fine if you don't get them fruit gummies. So just stop it. Now, the next thing is juices. Now, unless you've got a kid with pooping problems, you really don't need apple juice. You don't need orange juice or any of those things. So I would cut out the juices and save by not having the juices. Now, the next one is, now, isn't this attractive? Stop eating so much food. <laughs> now, I'm right there with you. Yes, I know I need to lose weight just as much as the next person. But I also know that if money was super tight, and I just could not afford groceries, I would not be buying pizzas and Cokes, and I would be cutting back on the amount that I eat. You don't, this whole thing, oh my goodness, oh dear, I hear a Tara rant coming on, and I'm trying to control myself. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's cheering in the background. <laughs> oh dear, I just forgot what my rant, rant was. What was I talking about? <laughs> I was trying to calm myself and I calm myself so much that I, uh, I forgot my rant, but, um, <laughs> I can't remember, but anyway, listen, you don't have to eat so much food. You can cut back. You're not going to die if you cut back from 3,500 to 4,000 calories a day down to 1500 to 2000 and being overweight is just because you're eating just too much food that's all it boils down to you're just eating too many calories so go ahead and lose some weight and that will be a way for you to save some money on your grocery bill now the next tip is to shop at more than one store now we got this I was super impressed from um, doo -doo 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 -doo, Joyce, and here's what Joyce had to say. I just wanted to share some amazing deals I found. With my schedule and where I live, the best time for me to find good deals on the reduced section produce Saturday night at 7 p.m. For $17, I got all of this, five double raspberry containers two strawberries, five blackberries, 
eight colored peppers, six avocados, including half price items of sour cream, four cottage cheese as a snack treat and freezer containers I needed. I am single and make your full sauce recipes and freeze half. There was a lot more great produce deals, but this will fill my freezer right now. Honestly, I wanted a quiet night to just relax after a full day of friends, but will now spend the time to cut up and freeze these items and watch one of your episodes to keep motivating, to keep motivation going. Thank you for all you do and God bless Joyce. Now, look at all of this food, guys. Now, she just wanted to sit home and relax, but instead, what did she do? She took the 20 minutes or so that it would take to cut up that produce, wash it and put it in baggies and freeze it. And she probably, I don't know. I mean, my goodness, she's got the strawberries would be two, four, six, about six to eight dollars now. The raspberries would be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we're talking 30 and then blueberries or blackberries. Two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think that's what those are at Walmart. Let me see how much they are at Walmart here, just out of curiosity, because now she's, now I think I'm underestimating. Yeah, it, oh, oh, have mercy, five dollars. <laughs> Holy cow. For which things? She got a good deal on the blackberries and raspberries. So she's got, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. She's got probably $125 worth of stuff that she got for 17 bucks. Why? Because of, instead of sitting on her hiney doing nothing, she went out and started saving money. Yeah. Wow. That is impressive. So just look at that. I wonder how long, I mean, she didn't say how much she's earning. Maybe she's retired, but just think about that. If you're earning $20 an hour for probably a half an hour's worth of work, she just did not have to work five to six hours after taxes, depending on what their tax bracket is and all that. Mm -hmm. That was a stinking good deal. Good. I didn't realize how expensive and people's, excuse me, people's carts are always full of those berries at Walmart. Oh my goodness. Good grief. Well, the raspberries aren't quite, quite as expensive, but still, we're still talking, I mean, even a hundred, $115. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. That's just totally shocking. You can send me the first one, Mike. Um, so anyway, so shop at more than one store. It really does say, guys, give me type one. If you shop at more than one store, I'm kind of curious to see how many people just shop at one store or two. So type one, if you shop at one store and shop two. type two, if you shop at more than one store, I'm really curious. Okay. Dining on a dime cookbooks, guys, volume one and volume two. Mike was just half an hour ago out there shipping orders. In the yep. rain, <laughs> your books won't be wet. Don't worry, they're covered. Waiting for the mail lady. But volume one and volume two, they go together, but they're totally separate recipes. Um, just couldn't fit them all in. Volume one has 1,200 recipes and tips, and volume two has 800 recipes and tips. And then our dining on a dime, gluten-free, dairy-free, right here is... Nice. Yes. Um, oh my goodness. The brownies, um, is, uh, also on sale. I'm shooting the pumpkin bread in here tomorrow, shooting that video tomorrow. We shot, we shot what's the equivalent of one and a half videos today for the new recipe channel. And oh my goodness, we were, we're pooped, aren't we? Oh, yes. wow. A lot of people shop at more than one store. Good job. Guys, I'm so proud of you. You're listening to us. Thank you. <laughs> We're not just talking to air and it's just not going everywhere. Here, here's a thumbnail for you, dear. Oh, Will that you do work? that? You do that. There you go. <laughs> I'm shocked at you going bananas. 
<laughs> and then we have our price book, which we are almost sold out of our first printing of this edition of it. I think there's only like 15 left. There's only 15 left? Well, it said 30 when I was packing. Do you have that in Shopify? So well, that... I, I put a limit of 190. Okay. Because I figured there would be okay. destroyed ones that we didn't okay. have to place. So 15 left to order for this printing. And we are having shipping issues with these so i'm not going to say what the shipping issue is but if you have an issue please email us and let us know and we will rectify it for you also well, basically if the post office tells you something unexpected yeah yeah you sh yeah just let us know if you have shipping issues and um our undated planner right here 400 pages 365 days to get you organized you can see the full planner on the planner page guys um Donna, here is the inside of the price okay, book. This is how you well, bake oops, chicken oh, quarters. Oh, oh, oh. Why this is the chicken doing that? Okay, just a second. Let me just re move there. Okay, um, here is. Good job, honey. I'm getting it. See, if you die, I can do something. Um, <laughs> here is the planner, right? Or the price book. And what you do is you fill in your stores on the top here. See, see, let's see, right here along the top, you put in your stores. This right here is my price. And then you put in the lowest price at that store. And if the price goes lower, then you change the price, do it in pencil, so that um, you're always getting the cheapest price. And I had put the date on there also so I can watch the cycle so I know, oh, chocolate chips go on sale every three months. So I'll watch. It's October 31st. And I know in two weeks for Thanksgiving, they're going on sale. So I'll wait and buy them uh to do that so um okay did you send me the first questions we are going to get yes, on our questions did you announce about questions because i did oh, okay is nobody have so questions have, tonight well i mean i'm going through fast but i just thought in case you didn't because i only sent you like a small number of them okay um christine now you guys remember christine she was our first grocery audit and i said i want a, a mini update real quick and she says it is so good to not have to not have spent any money on their credit cards. You go, girl. All right. I can't wait to see what it's like in March or April for you guys. Yeah, that is awesome. Make those puppies go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make them go away. Wanda, thank you so much for re-watching our videos. We appreciate you guys. If you guys love our videos also, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell. The thumbs up, why does everybody ask for those? Because it tells YouTube that you like us, and that's why. So it really helps. And everybody's saying their fall colors are so pretty, and I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some, oh, yeah. Did you see the one about Michigan? Yes, I did. She said, Miss J. Moore said, Michigan is pretty and colorful now, even with some varieties of the shrubs. Oh, I will not be envious. <laughs> <laughs> Gina is making our dinner rolls right now as we speak. Thank you so much. I am so glad you're making them. Olympia loves my new garden channel. Thank you guys for all of you who are supporting my new channel. And so when it started to rain today and we were frantically <laughs> getting ready for the show and everything after we spent for, uh, well, a number of hours, Four hours doing videos, videos that yeah. we hadn't really planned to do today. Then Tar said, oh, it's raining. I have to go out and shoot this for the Garden Channel. <laughs> so I was filming like five minutes before the show started. <laughs> that's uh, called type A. If you've ever heard type mean? A and you didn't know what it meant, that's what it means. <laughs> Tara is the definite definition of, of type A, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, Amy, I'm so glad you made it live. Jesus loves you. Who lives in Florida says they get used to alligators. No, I think that's a lie straight from the pit of hell. You'd never get used to alligators. I'm sorry. That's just not true. Melinda says the best way to save money is to eat from the pantry. Yes, it is. And Nancy and several other people said our cookbooks make great Christmas gifts. Thank you. We actually have people who are already sending Christmas gifts. So thank you so much. And Amy got her price book today. She can't wait to use it. Uh, Bird says she buys chicken legs six to package instead of quarters. Yes, that is perfectly fine. A lot of time chicken legs are, drumsticks are cheap or cheaper. Just use what is the cheapest that you have. 
Katie says, our cookbooks pay for themselves in no time. She has all three. Her sister borrowed one and she cannot get her to give it back because she loves it so much. We've <laughs> heard so many people say. I'm telling her husband to buy their own. Well, maybe they should buy you a new one since they have put miles on yours. That's true. And you should get a new one. <laughs> yeah, we've had quite a number of people say, I loaned it to a family member and I, I don't think I'm ever getting it back. So I'm buying a new That's one. funny. Wrong way says she loves buying chicken on sale. She separates the thighs from the drumsticks before freezing. Very good. Donna says, thank you for sending the cookbooks to her family member. You are welcome. We are so glad. She's looking forward to using them to teach her kids how to cook. Very good. Actually, Jack is learning how to cook. The other day, we learned scrambled eggs, which he kind of already oh, knew. he cooked them. Uh, yes. Oh, I thought mom yeah. was just treating him extra specially that day. No, he wanted to learn. Here's what's funny is BJ and Ellie and Dave never wanted to learn how to cook. And I know this is being a horrible mother, but I got to the point where I was finally like, just forget it. You'll figure it out when you move on your own and you can't have any food. When you figure it out on your own, we'll give you 35% off. <laughs> I almost spewed all over the equipment. I tried, folks. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness we got the drop and spill warranty. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a good thing I didn't choke. Wow. That is so true. Uh, it would have been free when you were in our house, but now. We'll make it work by packing books. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nancy says, my chicken curry recipe is so yummy. Thank you. That is one of my favorites. Actually, I love chicken curry. Wrong way says, today she got Macintosh apples for 25 cents a pound. Wow. Holy moly. The cashier said the store classified these apples as seconds. 52 cents is going to turn into a nice pie. I think she means 25 cents is going to turn into a nice pie. That is great. I would have bought all I could for that. I mean, that's even cheaper than going and picking them. Unless you just had no money at all for the time you had to go pick apples, that would definitely be worth it. Wow, that's great. Guys, type one if you pick apples and type two if you don't. I'm really curious. I've only picked apples three years. I think three years. One year we had an apple, two years. Oh, if you pick them three from the years. Tree, gotcha. Two years we had an apple tree in Idaho. And then, um, what last year I picked them here. Otherwise, I haven't had access to apples at all. Oh, interesting. Wow. Okay. Let's see. So a lot of people don't pick. That's interesting. Um, Getting questions about what is the garden channel. So I'm sharing it right now. Thank you, guys. Tara is relaxing in my garden channel. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel the, the soothing something coming over you <laughs> right now? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> um, let's see. DH says, how long do bullion cubes last past the expiration date? Oh my goodness, forever. I mean, I would say 20 plus years. It's nothing but salt, really. So I would say a really, really long time. And Craft for Others says she made potato soup for the next few meals. Um potato soup if you guys need to know dining on a dime volume one that this okay i'll have to tell you going gluten-free dairy-free i have not found a good substitution for potato soup yet that's the only thing i have not been able to recreate yet and i don't know maybe if i use soy milk it might work but that's the only thing i have been able to recreate was my uh, potato soup yet it just is so delicious because it's, it's not as creamy as the, the yeah it's milk. not as creamy because real milk is you know creamier so julie says she's got a good haul from aldi's a few weeks ago that is great um donna i finished my last 12 pack cans of coke i'm not buying any more drinking more water and homemade tea good for you she's measuring out and weighing her portions very good yay um Okay. And you know, for losing weight guys, really. Okay. My problem is I just eat, I just snack too much. I'm a cookbook author. It is hard to not sit there and pick on the frosting on the apple cake 
that you just made for a video. <laughs> I just made for a video. That's where my problem is. And so I'll tell you right now, I just, I just snack too much. I know that's my problem, but here's the easiest way to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, stop making it complicated. Take your plate. Half of your plate is vegetables and or fruit, mostly vegetables though. A quarter is a meat and a quarter is your carb. That's all. That's all you got to do. It is not hard at all. But if you're like me, I just snack too much and I know it and I just need to stop it. I need some motivation. I just don't have any motivation. That's my problem. Um, hair tied. My mortgage balance has gone down to 30000 since watching Living I Die because I started paying extra yeah. every month. That is great. That is amazing. Somebody asked yesterday on the comments, she said, well, how much did you put on your house for September and October? Well, we didn't put anything on our house in September and October. Why? Because in August, we had $3,000 worth of dental bills. So we don't have dental insurance. So for us, what we do is we always try to put a little bit on our mortgage. But if we have months like where we have a big amount of dental bills or a huge car breakdown or something, then um, we don't put anything on our mortgage. And so then the next months, if we don't have anything happen, then we just put a big chunk on there. So for us, it's just kind of we're self-employed. So we just kind of put chunks on as we um, as we get them. Wanda loves the Montreal steak seasoning. Yes. I haven't tried it on eggs. She said to try it on eggs. That's we, a good one. Didn't we just discover that seasoning or you just didn't use it before? No, a viewer sent it to us. Yeah. Hmm. So it's really good. Denise says our prices here in Minnesota must be much higher than anywhere else. No, they're not. You're just not shopping at, um, at enough different stores. I've done a couple grocery audits. Did you have an email? Huh? Email ladies here. It's all out there. Okay. Uh, I did a couple of grocery audits and in Minnesota. And we, uh, I was able to find grocery stores just fine. Actually, Minnesota is one of the cheapest places for food. So you just need to shop at more stores and shop the ads. Stacy, if you freezer pack your chicken in food saver bags, how long are they good in the freezer? So not in the freezer bags. They will go a year. I mean, I have some that are a year and a half that I ate the other day that got buried in the back of the freezer and I didn't realize not packaged and they were just fine. Nobody even knew it had been in there. In freezer bags, I would say two years, two and a half years, probably. Debbie, this week, our local store has chicken leg quarter, 10 pounds for $6.90. Boneless skinless chicken breasts are $15.90 for 10 pounds. Ground beef is $2.99 in bulk. 10 pounds of bacon for $19. You bet I stocked up. Holy cow. No kidding. She said, here's our ad. Okay. So let's look at her ad. I don't know how she was able to get her ad link in here, but let's see if we can weekly ad. Let me see if I can actually see these on here to prove to you guys um, that this is actually real. Can we do this? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Let's see. What what does she have here? Let's see. Oh, it's not on the front page. Okay, it must be all over the ad then. But still, holy moly, that's really good prices. So, yeah, I would definitely stock up if that's the prices. Kimberly, I used to be able to make meat stretch a lot further, but now my husband's on this physician's protein diet. So protein is the main part of the meal. I still always throw in starch and vegetable. That's just the Midwest in me, but he takes all the supplements. He doesn't even have to eat vegetables or starch. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not going to even go there. <laughs> he loved the Harley garlic chicken tonight, though. Good. I am so glad. I only put a little bit of the rice in there and lots of chicken. Very good. Yes. Sheila says, baking chickens for you. Those of you who ordered over the weekend, the mail lady just came and your orders are on the way. Zooming, zooming, zooming along. Yep. And she's very... Well, I'm fastidious. No, that's not right there. I don't want to make her sound studious, but she's awesome. Yeah, she's, she's very careful she'll, about the mail. For her part of the yeah. mail, your mail will be taken care of greatly. Yes. Now, we can't guarantee your post office, which some of them are real humdingers. 
Kimberly, I love catching berries on sale and freezing them to use later. Yes, that's what I do. Sheila says, baking a chicken for supper tonight. I got 99 cents a pound and green beans for 39 cents a can. That is a great deal. Guys, there are bargains everywhere. Type in, comment, and tell me some of your bargains because I'm curious to see. And what city and state you live in because I'm I want to prove to people you can still find these bargains. They don't believe me, but you can. Um... Lori, I was looking for a corn squash recipe in the first cookbook. I don't think we have any corn squash recipe in the cookbook, in the first one. I don't think we have them in any, because I don't cook with a corn squash. Um, yeah. Well, you cooked cook it with by squash, yourself. Though, I'll right? tell you how I cook it, though. And let me say, I didn't used to. When I wrote the book, I didn't cook with a corn squash, but now I do. So now what I do is I cut it in half scoop out the seeds, turn them upside down on a roasting pan, roast at 350 degrees for 30 or 40 minutes till a knife is inserted, just goes in easy. Then I just scoop out the flesh, put some butter and honey on there or brown sugar, and it is just super yummy. So yes, Wanda, I love this community we have here. None of the other people I know shop the way we do though. Yep. Yep. That's unfortunate. That's the way most people are. Linda says she goes to two or more, but I wait until I'm in the area. Yes, very good. Don't make a special trip. Good job. Unless it's really worth it. Um, Wanda shops at more than one store. She shops at Liquidation Outlets. That's where she gets the best prices on cat food. Very good. Hair Tide, using my store's ad, I got $78 worth of meat for $38. And she owes it all to us. Woo! Good job. Hey. That is great. <laughs> Jan, unless I go out of town, we only have one grocery in town. Yes, I totally get it. The closest Walmart is 45 minutes away. But here's the thing. It may be worth it for you to go out of town. When I lived 70 miles from the nearest grocery store, it was worth the drive to go to the grocery store so I didn't have to buy food at the convenience store in town. Um, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. We would just make it a... Once every, what, what's we tried once a month trip, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Julie says, recently added the Latino stores in Wichita. She got a good deal there. Yes. So I got that comment. Actually, someone emailed me and said, Tara, I don't have her, haven't ever heard you talk about that. Actually, I do talk about in Dining Volume 1. But a lot of your Asian and Latino stores will have cheaper spices and rices and those type. Well, a lot of cheaper stuff. And so go look there and see if it is cheaper for you to buy whatever spices you need there because they might be cheaper at those types of stores. Mary missed us. Oh, oh. which Mary? Oh, awesome. <laughs> Yay. Well, thank you. Donna says, do I make my own gluten-free flowers? Yes and no. So when... I tested the recipes for this one. I used the gluten-free flour from Walmart because I knew everybody could get that flour for sure. So that's the one that I tested all the recipes with this in. It is also the cheapest, but depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I will make my own gluten-free flours if I can't get to the store or something because I have it on hand. So yeah. Janet says she's catching up on our blogs and they're very eye-opening. Well, thank you. Send me the next one. Nancy, I'm looking forward to shopping the fall baking supplies. Yes, they are going on sale pretty soon. So be watching for that. Becky, what is the name of the garden channel? So um, my new garden channel, what is the name of my new garden it's, channel? It's relaxing in my garden. Relaxing in my garden. It's not about gardening though. No, <laughs> it's, it's not. It's about, um, so our, we have a very pretty, we are very thankful. God knew we needed. We were very blessed. God knew we needed a little tranquility in our life. So God blessed us with a very pretty property, very pretty property. And so what, um, what I've been doing is just filming because I've been sitting out or whatever. And I'm like, well, this is really relaxing. This would make a great video. I'm like, well, hello, why don't I make it into a video? So I just started doing it just for fun. I'm just doing it for fun for me. It would be nice if it took off and it would pay or whatever, but it's, this one's just for me for fun. Just so you know, just so you know. Yes. So, 
Um, hello, Rob. Oh, he says we're his favorite YouTube family. Oh, thanks, Rob. You're our second favorite little house guy. Our son has to be our first favorite. <laughs> but you're our second favorite now. Yeah, but he's our favorite little house guy. Our son is our favorite tiny, tiny house guy. Tiny house guy. Rob's our favorite little house guy. And, and BJ's our favorite tiny house guy. <laughs> yes, that's how we do it. Yes. <laughs> I feel so bad we couldn't see you, Rob. I really wanted to stop, but we just, it just did not work. So if we come back there again, we're going to try it next time. Um, Michelle, messed up your oatmeal chocolate chip cookie recipe. We had the wrong oatmeal. I was so tired. So I was too tired to go to the store with my mom. Well, it should have turned out okay, even if you use the wrong oatmeal, because I've done that before. Were they just not cooked through enough? If that ever happens and you catch it before you bake them, if you just add an additional quarter to a half a cup of water, just kind of depends, then that will reconstitute the oatmeal more and it'll be softer. Barbara, Barbara, we love you. Made a chocolate cake for my husband, Mike. Oh, I forgot her husband's Mike too. <laughs> nice. I actually saw another YouTuber and their assistant's name was Tara. It was technically Tara because it was T-A-R-A, but they pronounced it Tara. They just don't know that that's not how you pronounce it, but, but they <laughs> called her Tara and it was really funny. I, I don't have that experience happen. It shocked you. It did. It was shocking. <laughs> I was shocked by this revelation. <laughs> um, Barbara made chocolate cake for my husband, Mike, for his birthday today. Not going to touch it. Pray for me. Oh my goodness. That is willpower. I don't know how you're going to do that one. Because she loves him that much. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> What's funny is I'm getting ready. Tomorrow we're shooting the pumpkin bread recipe in um, the gluten-free, dairy-free cookbook. And I'm like, okay, what am I going to do this? Well, I got to thinking a couple of people at Jack's school, teachers are gluten-free. So I'm going to send the rest of it to school. <laughs> so um carol say 15 pounds by buying 12 by 40 by 400 gram tubs of butter when an offer with free supermarket points carts okay i have absolutely no idea how that translates let's see 400 grams grams to ounces would be okay so almost a pound say, and like 100 grams of butter and you? let's see a pound and she saved 15 pounds by buying 12 of them. Well, very good. All right. So she was able to buy her uh, butter with a supermarket's points card. Yes. So those are, we get the same rewards cards here. And here you type in your phone number and that's how you use it. But it's very similar. Friendly at home, I gave all my older kids and sisters, oh, our cookbooks and aprons one year. Thank you. Guys, they're 35% off right now for our October sale, volume one and volume two. They go together, but they're totally separate recipes. Start with the red one if you don't know where to start. And then this is our gluten-free, dairy-free edition right there. Our new price book, which had 15 left at the start of the show, but they might be gone now. And then our undated planners, 400 pages, 365 days to help you get organized. Yeah. And if you get them now, then you'd have to think about it for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It'll just be ready to go. There you go. <laughs> See, and you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it. Um, okay. Next question is, Andy says, the cookbooks are amazing for teens too. The books are so simple and amazing for them to learn. It's the first book her 12-year-old grabs. That wow. is great. Where wow. did I fail as a mother? I am a cookbook author and my kids don't even use my own cookbook. You know, I think it's just your own kids don't want your advice when they get to be teenagers. I guess. <laughs> They'll remember it later, maybe. At least that's what we've heard. <laughs> We're waiting to find out. <laughs> it's just... We'll see. I don't know. Mama Bear, she says she loves her gluten-free um, gluten free book. And Darlene says, can we go live during the cooking videos? Oh, I don't know if we could add that extra step. It was pretty intense today. I don't know. So I cooked dinner for one of the teachers at school, just had her sixth baby. And so um, I signed up to take meals. So I made today and tomorrow's dinners for them. 
and plus our dinner. And because so we had a big revelation, you know, my whole quandary with what to do with living on a dime that we had on our last show. And we had a, we're not going to discuss it, what we discovered, but we had a very big revelation after we were looking at some of our statistics. We had a very big revelation. We're not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> well, because we don't know the direction we're going yet. So I don't want to. We're just walking around in circles saying, which way did he go, George? Yeah. <laughs> but so because of that, we're really working on trying to get the recipe channel going, super easy recipes going. And so um, so I decided to film today when I cooked for her and we made the maple glazed chicken. We made the um, oven baked chicken, coleslaw, applesauce cake, uh, pumpkin bread and coffee cake for them and then stir fry for us. And so we spent four hours filming all of that for one video on super easy. Well, then if we added the live portion of that into that, I think our heads might explode off of our shoulders. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think they would? I missed part of it. If we went live while we were cooking the doing the cooking videos. We need additional staff. <laughs> I just don't know you mean how. Like, you mean like the breaking the third wall? Here's us behind the scenes. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Like she wanted us to do a like behind the scenes things, which actually that might not be a bad we idea for living on a dime. Probably one of the lads to do it. <laughs> to do to do the moderating, to you cover, mean? To cover us doing the work on the other stuff. Is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you sure she didn't mean just like a live show? Well, she meant just do a live show, but I just don't know how we would ever, I don't know how we would be able to do that. I, re, I don't know. I mean, that's a good idea though. We might keep that in mind. So anyway, we're filming, we're going to be filming more recipes for super easy recipes um, channel so that um, is going, so that's going to be something that we're adding to that so anyway uh, michelle says scrambled eggs are a good thing to learn how to cook and fried rice oh yeah rice was another thing we made today too yes fried rice is so good i love fried rice i wish mike ate my eggs but i'll eat that for breakfast a lot is uh scrambled egg and my grandma called it yakamushi um because they were from japan they lived in o not from japan they lived in okinawa for the military for a while and they made made yakamushi from there and she would put um hamburger and egg sometimes bacon and rice all together and it was really good jan says i watched your appliance videos and i've heard you say you only need one tablespoon of soap but is that for a front loading machine only or the same for top loaders it's the same it's the same and let me tell you i've been using one teaspoon of dishwasher soap in my dishwasher and i've been using one teaspoon teaspoon not tablespoon. Well, a tablespoon is for a giant load. A teaspoon is for a regular load in my washing machine. And I don't notice any difference. My stuff is still getting just as clean. As a matter of fact, I did a video testing it that's going to come up in one of the grocery audits. Patty says she made the pumpkin bread over the weekend. From our volume one, the link is in the description below in our 16 pumpkin recipes uh, article. Patty says she made it over the weekend and her nurse daughter bragged about it at the hospital. Now the nurses wanted to know your name and title of your cookbook. Oh, thanks. <laughs> she sent photos so she could order. Thank you, guys. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Actually, you have no idea how much that means to us right now because we are flailing so much. We're just like, okay, Lord, we just got to get through today. <laughs> I mean, our finances are fine. We're not earning any extra. Our bills are all paid and everything. So we're, we're, we're okay. It's just trying to figure out which direction we're going to go. Once again, this is all we've done for 20 years is figuring out what direction. <sighs> yeah. So anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, Carol Ann was laughing so hard at you. Charging your kids 35% off on the box. Huh. 
Hey, it's, you know, we're saying, <laughs> hey, guys, listen to this. Oh, dad, no, go away, boomer. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, you can pay 35% off later. <laughs> it's free now. <laughs> I'm just telling you guys, when we die, <clears throat> I have a feeling kids will just let the business go to the toilet. So <laughs> you guys can then sell your cookbooks for $10,000 on eBay because nobody will be able to get them. <laughs> Um, Tanya, we have baby apple trees, but we'll be a few years before you get apples. Yep. Totally get it. Julie, when they're available, she picks apples and pears. I would love to pick pears to do dehydrated pears. I think that would be so good. Mom, the apples that I did get free, mom would, um, dehydrate them for me. And cause she has stolen my dehydrator that I got for the business and <laughs> claimed it for her own. <laughs> mm. I'm just kidding. Um, but I would love to dehydrate pears. I think that would be so good. Um, <laughs> Donna says her Shih Tzu is listening to us talk and she hears our voices. <laughs> Hello, little Shih Tzu puppy dog. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Darlene says we go to an orchard and they are in bins. So I pick from the bins. Well, there you go. Wise Mama, my cooking channel is super easy recipes. Michael put the link in there for you. Patricia, how long after the expiration date is mayonnaise okay to use? Not very long. So any of your um, egg and dairy-based dressings and sauces, those I really wouldn't go past a few weeks to a month. Maybe not even that long. I would just do a few weeks to a month. If it's, unop if it's opened... Now, if it's unopened, you could, I would open it up and use it right away, but unopened, but opened, I would not wait a whole lot longer to use it. Um, wow. Ta ta Tanya has four apple trees. Oh my goodness. Wow. We used to have two. Yeah. Jen. Although only one of them put out apples though, right? Yeah. Jen says, oh, it's an ASMR channel. I fall asleep to it. Yes, I decided to do an ASMR channel. I love listening to rain and falling asleep or just listening to the outside sounds or whatever. So, yes. Letitia said, try coconut milk, I think, for my potato soup. I don't think coconut milk would taste very good for potato soup. It's too sweet. I could try flax milk, I guess. That might work. So For other things, we use coconut milk, rice milk. Yeah. Um, almond milk, any other milks that we use? Flaxseed. I've used flaxseed, but they don't have it here in Wyoming, but I could make my own. Susan, do y'all exercise? So Mike faithfully exercises several times a week. Me, I do when I garden. And you have the urge to feel like you're going to die. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I need to get on exercising more because it helps my fibromyalgia, but yeah. Uh, Julie, out of debt, I tell my coworkers, if you find me down, leave me until I'm stiff. I'm out of debt, older, and want to stay debt-free. <laughs> <laughs> Once I'm sorry, that's about the way I feel, too. Uh, now, Tanya wants to know, shouldn't your kids get at least 50% off? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Depends on how good they treat you at Christmas. Yes. Uh, Jen says dental insurance usually stinks anyway. Yeah, we, that's why we pay cash for our dental because we have not found a dental insurance that it has been worth paying because it still costs the, almost the same amount as paying cash. Actually, I think Tara asked me at one time, maybe we should get a dental insurance and all this. And we looked at it and I figured out that when we pay the monthly premium, the, and, and then with the deductible that there was, it would never, and then the maximum amount it would pay out of pocket, it would never pay more than the amount we paid in premiums for the year. So I thought, what's the point of that? Because <laughs> we could just pay cash and it would end up being cheaper in all scenarios. Yeah. Yeah. Sanders says fighting squirrels for apples. I know. So somebody's got an apple tree around here and I was in the big garden getting all the dead uh, tomatoes and everything out. And a squirrel had an apple almost the size of him running along the fence. It was funny. 
So somebody's got an apple around here. Vicky says turkeys at Kroger's this week for 99 cents, 14 to 18 pounds. Very good. Yeah, Walmart, they're 98 cents here. As a matter of fact, I might just buy one because I just like eating turkey. And I just might buy one just to eat it. Oh, actually, no, I need to go buy one because I got to do the Thanksgiving videos here coming up. Um, do we have any recipes for cherries? So you could use our cobbler, apple, or peach um, crisp in here. That would be super good. Um, that's what I would use the cherries for. You could also put them in smoothies if you want, which I really like. Linda, I bought the gluten-free, dairy-free cookbook right here for her 16 your old granddaughter who has gluten dairy issues bugged me to get it to her. She loves it. Yay. I'm so glad I got tired of eating gluten-free desserts and stuff and breads that tasted like sand. So that's why all these recipes I have tested myself, the bread recipe I tested 40 times before I came up with one that would meet my standards. And so, um, yeah, so I really tested the heck out of these recipes. And Donna just ordered the price book. Thank you. You're welcome. We had 15 at the beginning of the show. So go check and see if we still have some in stock, guys. <laughs> Wanda, I've been buying less food lately, but I'm going to Safeway later to get a whole chicken for 87 cents a pound. That is a great deal. Vicki, we eat our lunch and dinner around 3 p.m., a bigger meal than a light in the evening. Very good. She sees a big difference in her weight. Very good. She drinks mostly water. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kimberly, she loves her raspberry and blackberry bushes, but the birds and the deer got to them before they did. Oh, man. Oh, my neighbor. She said, so they, their deck looks out over my um, vegetable garden. And she said, oh, Tara, I didn't know you pruned strawberries. <laughs> I said, I don't. A stupid deer got in my garden and just sheared them. They pruned them for you. <sighs> Thank goodness it's the end of the year. I would have been pretty torqued. Ugh. Little turds. Uh <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Pam, I made mulberry jam for my mom. They were her trees and she can't can anymore. Oh yeah, we used to have a big mulberry tree. Uh, and it was a huge mess all the time. Creatively country. Yes, gluten-free. Do potato soup is hard for the potato soup. I sent earlier, I meant to say puree some potatoes and plenty of nutritional yeast and bacon helps. Actually, that might be a good way to do the potato soup is to take potato flakes and that would make it creamy without changing the flavor. That's a good idea. Donna, I enjoy fixing meals and desserts more since I have our cookbooks and our recipes are amazing. Your recipes are amazing. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Annette, yesterday I bought ground turkey white meat for 99 cents a pound, bought 16 pounds. Yes, it's freezing. You want, okay, I can No, because it. it was driving me nuts. Oh, okay. I felt like I was having to scream. Um, she's going to share it with her daughter, all the ground turkey. Oh, that is great. Yeah, one time I found hamburger ground beef on January... First, no one was in the grocery stores because everybody was hung over at home. I went to the grocery store on January 1st and I got a hundred pounds of ground beef for 99 cents. I didn't even come close to touching all that they had. And I shared it with mom and my sister-in-law. So yeah, that is a good way to do it. Uh, Patricia, 80% ground beef is $2.99. That's actually a fairly decent deal. So in Connecticut, good. Uh, Linda, five-year food saver prime rib roast is wonderful and fresh yesterday. Very good. Letitia says free peanut butter or free eggs at Fred Meyer. Very good. See, guys, these are all deals you can get all over the place. Tanya. Is, is food saver like a... Uh, it's uh, just like Kroger. No, like Kroger. Oh, it's a store. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Tanya, 10 pound bag of boneless chicken for $15.90, a $1.59 a pound. Very good. Wow. She also got ground beef for $2.99 in Michigan. Connie, a bunch of potatoes she's got to use up. Yesterday, she looked up my recipe for potato soup. Today, this is cold weather and snow. Us too. What have we figured out? What is the snow hitting tomorrow still, or do we know yet? Last night, I thought it said Wednesday, and somebody else told me it's, that they had heard. Thursday. Uh oh, 
Joyce, the local Amish store just had bacon ends for $1.69. Hot dog, that is a great deal. You have to buy 30 pounds, so I have bacon ends and bacon grease for cooking for years. Yay, that's great. Cherry says, I'm in Tacoma, Washington. Grocery outlet has 99 cent boxes of cereal and crackers. That's a great deal. Mm, Thursday, Thursday now. Snow on Thursday. 69% chance of snow on Thursday. 10 degrees? Winter is here, isn't it? Uh, sadly, I think there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Denise. It's coming either way. And no, we can't go to Florida goalie. <laughs> we have alligators. We made leftover vegetable beef soup for supper tonight with our roast beef Sunday dinner leftovers. Very good. Plus froze enough for another meal for five. Good job. Good job. Joe, 10 pound box of bacon for $16.98. Very good. So that's $1.69. That is excellent for bacon. My goodness, I would have gotten 60 pounds. That's great. How often do we grocery shop? So, okay. Normally, I grocery shop once a month. So, what I do is for my big grocery shopping. So, I go once a month and get my big basket full of grocery shopping. But then, we run to the store once or twice a week to get filler things. So like if something's on sale specifically, I will go get that. If I'm recipe testing and I totally spaced getting something, then I'll get that. That's me. I'm awful at planning. And so, um, but usually it's not like a special trip. It's usually only if I'm on the way to somewhere else. So like tomorrow is thrift store morning. So if I go to the thrift stores in the morning, oh, but we we're going to film the pumpkin bread, weren't we? <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay. Well, wait, maybe I can do orders while you film the pumpkin bread. Well, no. Well, I, I run to the thrift store and then no, no. film the pumpkin bread. Maybe I can bread. do orders while you do thrift stores and then I'll do pumpkin bread. Yeah, that might work. My brain jumped from the beginning to the end of the story <laughs> without the middle. <laughs> so anyway, I don't usually make a special trip or, excuse me, we'll stop on the way home from church usually. But most of those trips are just like one or two things. Um, Cherry, I have to walk to the store. It's two miles round trip. Oh, man, I feel for you. That's a long trip. I hope you have a wagon or something. Uh, Susan, she got apples for dollars or for 63 cents in Indiana. That is a great deal. And Jonica says chicken legs for $1.49 a pound in Cincinnati. Very good. Mary says acorn squash cut in half, scoop out the seeds, put green part on pan, fill center with butter and sugar and bake. Oh, there you go. Eat right out of the skin. That's an interesting way to do it. Monica, she looks at the Hispanic aisle at Walmart for pasta, 48 cents. That is a better deal. She said 48 cents for 12 ounces. That's a better deal than what? I didn't know you yeah. get pasta in the Hispanic aisle. Mm -hmm. That's a good deal. I should do a video on that, comparing comparing that. Trisha, you two are such a great and blessed couple. Oh, um, are we? Yes. Yes. I was telling her how blessed I was because um, she was 29 years yesterday. <laughs> and he hasn't killed me yet. Now I've tried yet. to kill myself several times, <laughs> like chopping my toe off today with the knife that fell off the counter. And I'm almost <laughs> touching the Oh my goodness. Oven Wait till you guys see again. what I did with the oven burner. So I totally look. Can you can you see? You actually touched you see it? my wound. Oh, yeah. I thought you didn't see? quite get touched. Oh wow. Yeah, I got a war wound. See what I did? I got a war wound for you guys. Uh, Michelle, still cut oatmeal for her. Oh, yeah. If you use steel cuts, that's definitely the wrong one. I thought you meant the old fashioned. Old yeah, fashioned will work, but steel, steel cuts cut take won't. forever. Yeah. No, steel cut will work. Oh, uh, hair tight. Relaxing in my garden. Has 669 subscribe. Thanks, guys. Wow. Susan, tomorrow is my 54th anniversary. Good job for not killing them. That's great. Oh, can we make it 54 years? We'll fly before then. <laughs> we'll fly before yes. then. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. Yes. Tanya, did Rob pay full price or did he get 35% off like the kids? Rob, oh, from Little No, I just sent it to Rob. I think, didn't I send it? I think I just sent him to Rob because because he. I just liked his videos so much. He was inspiring me. <laughs> to start stock up on firewood. 
Um, Trey Moat says, Willpower is working at Almond Roca and not touching one piece. Okay, that's Willpower. I love Almond Roca. Oh, my goodness. Mama Bear, I love my gluten-free book. Have you ever tried making meals in a jar? So we have gifts in a jar in here. Guys, if you need them, volume one, we have a whole chapter just on gifts in a jar. And so, yes, what are I have in a jar? Well, it's like you put the whole meal, like your spices and your beans or your lentils or whatever, all in a jar. And then you just pour it in. Like beef stew or something. Well, not yeah. beef stew. Some kind of stew. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Or it could be beef stew. Just add beef. Yeah. And you just add the beef. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um, Roberta made the chicken barley soup and pumpkin pie. Wow. Delicious, easy, and so good. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Aaron, check out the garden channel. So relaxing while cleaning over the weekend. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So now I'm trying to get up to my 4,000 hours of view time. So, um, so that I can get monetized. So that's my next goal. After I get a thousand, I got to get a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of view time is what YouTube makes you do before they can, uh, before they'll let you monetize it. Um, Aaron, or I mean, Cherry, I didn't know you are on more than once a week. We're not normally, but during a sale, we have been going live three times a week. And so Wednesday will be our last live for this sale in October. And then we'll be back to just Wednesdays again. Yes. Yeah. Jason, she, Jason loves our talk show. Thank you. Julie, do both. Oh, on, um, you mean when we're co doing cooking videos, go live, show parts of the film video and interject or answer questions like a tutorial with questions and answers. That would be an interesting, interesting direction, direction to take it when, if we just did lives filming the videos we do for super easy. <laughs> that would be interesting. That would be very interesting. <laughs> How would we do that? I don't know. We'd have to change it from to grow rich to behind the scenes. <laughs> just kidding. Hmm. That would be very interesting. Yeah. We're definitely kind of considering. <laughs> Kim, and along with that, Kimberly says, I love how Tara always mentions something and says, but you'll find out in eight weeks. <laughs> well. He says you're a master of suspense. <laughs> so here's the thing. Yeah, never mind. You're just going to have to have a cliffhanger. I can't say anything without blowing it. So, <laughs> Sandra, do you have any apple cake recipes? Yes, I have an apple cake or an apple loaf in here and an apple sauce cake, both in here. And both are really good. Um, Lisa, I would love to see a daily short of Tara's thoughts for today. I had thought about doing that, but shorts just stink for our channel. But I thought about doing like two minute videos with a Tara's tip of the day or whatever. But after what we looked at for living on a dime and super easy over the weekend with our analytics, I don't know that that would do me any good. I was wondering about when you used to do the, uh, was it Instagram you did for? Yeah. Uh, Cause I like soap? doing those short little clips. I like doing that. Because was it a one minute limit of those yeah. days? And Tara would kind of edit it in that she would do like 10 seconds and then pause it and change the angle and say something else about another thing. And she yeah. liked that. It's a lot easier because it doesn't require all the massive amount of editing. But then the problem is we still have to upload it. We still have to do a thumbnail and a description. And who's going to do all that? I don't know. Your mom. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Olympia. Here where we live, we get Portuguese barbecue and it comes with so much rice. I make fried rice with leftovers. I have never heard of Portuguese barbecue. What in the world? Portuguese barbecue recipe. What in the world is Portuguese? Here's one right here. Looks good. Well, I would like to sign into Google, but because my children were arguing with each other, <laughs> I accidentally signed out and I can't get back in now. <laughs> Uh, Portuguese barbecue, shallots, olive oil, oil olive oil, pre-pre sauce. What the heck is that? 
paprika, white wine, chicken broth, butter. I have no idea what pre pre is, but wow, it looks really good. Holy macaroni. Here, look at this. If this is what is this what par Portuguese Portuguese barbecue looks like? Look at this. Is this what that looks like? Can you turn that on for just a few minutes? Whole, if you're cold, you can. Holy moly. That looks really good. Oh, my. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Stop sharing. Hmm. Oops. Sorry. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know, but if that's what it looks like, that looks really good. Lucy, when I lost weight, I was down to 1,700 calories per day and extra exercising and lost 40 pounds with two medications. There you go. That's great. Ruth, I tried one tablespoon detergent in my wash, but my clothes came out smelly. I have to two tablespoons. Smelled better. Well, that's fine. Maybe you have really hard water or something and you need a little bit more. But what I would do is start at the lowest. If it doesn't work, then just slowly add, you know, a half a tablespoon or a tablespoon at a time until you get to the point where your clothes are fresh again. But you most certainly, I mean, I'm not kidding. The cup for my powdered detergent is this big. You don't need three quarters of a cup to a cup of detergent in every load of wash. That's just ridiculous. Katie, are you guys on Patreon? No, we are not. We tried Patreon and it was a huge failure for us. But thank you for asking. Olympia, oh boy, YouTube just let me know there's a new video on the relaxing channel. Oh yeah, it just went up like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a new video go up on the relaxing channel. Cherry, I paid rent to my parents at 17. Whoa. Okay. So here's the thing on rent. I'm all for adult kids paying rent, but here's how we do it. We give them a year or two, if they're not going to college, we give them a year or two where they have to pay all of their expenses. And then when they're 20, if they're still at home, then they start paying rent is how we do it. So, I mean, I think that's a little too, um, 17 is a little too young. Well, first of all, it's illegal, but <laughs> I mean, it's not illegals. It's not, Ill just send me the next one. It's not illegal, I guess, but it's not morally right. So, uh, Gina, do you make your own detergent or get yours what's on sale? So I used to make my own, but now I just buy it. It's, um, I don't use hardly any at all. So, well, and, and partly you made it because BJ, right? Yeah. Cause my son was really allergic to, um, uh, the smells and detergents. So we had to be really careful when he was living at home. So yeah. Do you okay. make it for him now? BJ? Yeah. Uh-uh. Huh. I wonder what he's doing. Probably just getting the... Unscented. Yeah. Barbara says, I used to make your cakes for my nurse colleagues when I worked. They are so easy, and I thought I... They thought I toiled a long time. Aw! Thanks! Most We have several cakes in here, like the white and the um, chocolate and all of those in our volume one. That's where she probably got it. Uh, Denise said she loved the recipes for apples. Thank you. We do have an email newsletter, guys, that we send out all of our recipes for those of you interested in recipes. Go to livingonadime.com and you can sign up there. Um, thank you, Dusty, for subscribing to my new channel. Rhonda, Taraba, all my peppers, some tomatoes, charred herbs indoors for overwinter, and fresh food to cook with. Very good. Yes. Good job. Roberta, speaking of laundry soap, made yours not only for my household use, but for my elderly parents. Yes, the recipes here, living, uh, livingonadime.com and in volume one, both is where the homemade laundry detergent is if you want to make it. Michelle, she has mushrooms and red bell peppers for pizza. My stepmom blessed her with pesto. Yum. Katrina, she dehydrated pears, cooked, then grind and put on a yeast pie and baked. Ooh, yum. Um, Joshua, did you send me a free Bible? Did we check by, did we check Joshua to see if I we checked in? There's no, I couldn't find anything with your name as an order. So we didn't send one. So 
unless you ordered you order? under, well, unless you ordered with a different name than Joshua and you're the last name that was in your comment. So if you intended to order one, then I would go back and try again or email us. You can go to livingonadime.com and click the contact form and just say, hey, I tried to order a Bible and I didn't get it. <laughs> and then we'll take care of it for you. Yes? Oh. Paula says turkeys were 29 cents a pound at Thanksgiving. She remembers. Yeah, I haven't seen them 29 cents a pound for probably 10 years. But uh, the rumor is going around, I think it was Kimberly, I can't remember, I think it was you, Kimberly, that sent it to me, that Walmart and Kroger are going to be lowering their prices, I think November 1st, back to who knows what, but they're supposedly they're lowering them for Thanksgiving coming up. Like Thanksgiving's the most expensive meal of the year. Oh my goodness. Thanksgiving's like the cheapest meal you could get of the entire year. It is so cheap per serving. It's not even funny. It's like $1.50 a serving. But anyway, stock up while you can. Paula, or I mean Pam, she makes a small batch of cherry pie filling, puts it in puff pastry and bake cherry turnovers. Oh, okay. I do miss turnovers. I loved Arby's turnovers. They were so good. That is another thing gluten-free that I haven't been able to recreate is gluten-free puff pastry that's actually flaky and puffy and, oh, man. Yeah. But Chrissy, canned coconut milk works great for cream soups. Yeah, canned might. It's slightly different than the, I don't know what's different about it, but it's it, it does taste slightly different than the boxes of canned milk or cartons, I guess. Kimberly says you should give all our cookbooks for Christmas. Thank you, Kimberly. Yes, they make great Christmas gifts. Donna, I have used opened mayonnaise at least six months past date. Please throw it away. Please. Please, <laughs> I'm begging you. Um, that is food poisoning waiting to happen. I mean, I might go three or four weeks, but I would not go six months. <laughs> Kimberly says, just replay the fire Thanksgiving video. I just watched it again twice the other day just because I needed to lighten my mood. <laughs> Did you put that link in there? I, I'll have to remember what it's called, but yes. <laughs> Thanksgiving on fire. Well, that's the, I think that's what the picture says, but I tried to search it the other day and I couldn't find it under that. Oh. And then uh, you didn't find it? Let me go back and look again. <laughs> you stand by. Diana, I use your recipes almost every single day. Thank you so much. Julie, my last year's Black Friday was ground beef. Got quite a bit. Yes. After the holidays is a great time, especially Christmas when stores are closed and Easter if stores are closed. The next day you can get some really good deals because they haven't sold the meat that they normally would. Um, good job. Jay went to the store once this month. Good job. Good okay, job. I'm sharing it now. So Mike's putting the Thanksgiving dinner on fire. A and E wanted to use that video, but they didn't want to pay me enough to make it worth worth me letting worth them the, use we'd it. We'd have to go back and find well, they wanted yeah. it without music and stuff, and we would have had to do a whole lot of work to get yeah. there. Uh, I'm just getting too hot for you now. Sure. Yes. Um, Shannon, off topic, but website is it that you get your glasses? Went to the doctor. Holy cow. Yeah. So my glasses at the eye doctor cost a thousand dollars because I got an estimate just to see. And I paid $75 for them at Zenni, Z-E-N-N-I optical.com. They need to be giving me some affiliates and free glasses. My goodness. As much as I recommend them. But yes, they are directly shipped from China. But if you do the express shipping, they are manufactured here, I believe. They are manufactured here in the United States and shipped because Dave broke his and I had to get an emergency pair for him because his other ones. Um, something happened with his other ones. I can't remember. But anyway, so I had to do the emergency shipping and it's only 15 bucks instead of five. So for $10, it's worth it. But they literally came in three days. They came in three days. So I was like, yeah, that's worth it. Michelle, pull out your blankets. Yes, we are pulling out our blankets tonight. It's time. Tomorrow, I'm washing the sheets and putting on the down comforter. Yep, it is. 
Debbie, we're supposed to get our first snow freezing rain on Halloween in Ontario. Yep. Joanne, what is the name of your garden video? It is relaxing in my garden, but Mike's not here. I don't know where he went. Garden channel? Yeah. Relaxing and in my garden. Relaxing I, I'll share, I'll in share. my garden. Sorry. <laughs> if I had just blow off. Uh, <laughs> no. Try not to spew spit all over everything. Uh, <laughs> RLK had a ribbon snake in our front porch this afternoon. Ooh, I will say he was pretty. Okay, never heard of that, but I can just imagine. DH, North Idaho will have snow showers on Wednesday. Yep, I probably, I bet you will, because you always get it like 24 hours before us. Um, Bitsabilia, I was thinking last night how you mentioned you wanted new content. What if you give us some random ingredients and you come up with the meal ideas? Oh, well, that's a good idea, actually. That's a good idea. Avery, potluck like at church yesterday, came home with two gallon bags of hot dogs someone was throwing away. Two takeout containers of chicken. Oh my goodness, wow. Pamela got DiGiorno pizza bites on sale for $1.50 for two bags. That is great. Jan says we should film at the thrift store. Jan, the Billings Winco store has chicken quarters for 88 cents a pound. Wow. Shoot, we may be heading, having to head to Billings. Katrina. Yeah, we haven't been there in a while. We go to that barbecue place. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Tara loves barbecue, and we almost never get it, but yeah. there was a barbecue place there that was real good. Okay, that's the one thing I would really like to have as a smoker. And I got a little cheapy smoker, and it didn't work very well. I would love to have a smoker, but it's not worth five hundred dollars. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting on Facebook Marketplace to see if I can find one. Michelle agrees with the Hispanic Isle. Yep, mm -hmm. that's great. Elaine, what is a good price for boneless pork chops? I would say two dollars a pound. Nancy. The gluten-free, dairy-free cookbook is her lifeline, but I've been making sand tasting cakes from gluten-free mixes. I make the chocolate cake on page 232 using great value gluten-free flour. Amazing. I know. Doesn't it taste great? We're, we're going to be putting out, so I have a gluten-free, dairy-free channel also. Michael put the link in there for you. But um, we're going to start on the gluten-free, dairy-free recipe channel. Once a week, I'm going to be putting a dessert in there, and I'm going to take it all to the school. I'm going to eat one piece, and then I'm going to go to school. But my family will eat my gluten-free desserts just as they don't even know they're gluten-free. You get the sense that Tar doesn't do anything part of the way. <laughs> I know. I know. Now, now, we had a business meeting this morning in my pajamas. Well, that's true. And it, I think the is either plan. full throttle or no throttle. Now, this is normal <laughs> throttle, wouldn't you say? Right now? Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, because you can't go any faster while you're alive. <laughs> Our plan we came up with. Oh, That's yes. That's normal throttle. Yes. Yep. <laughs> oh, she's looking at me. You just need a kiss. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. You think that solves everything, don't you? Yep. I got news for you. <laughs> gnomes solve the rest of the problem. Well, then you should be sitting pretty. <laughs> he got me new gnomes for our anniversary, and I just love them because several of mine had broken over the summer, and I was very sad and crying. Um, Tiffany, are you going to do more grocery audits? Yes, I am doing more grocery audits, and... I have like eight in the queue and then I have like 25 people lined up that have submitted, but, um, I, but I haven't gotten back to them because I'm trying to catch up first. What happened was we had nothing. And then I told people, if you want me to keep doing these, I have nothing. So you're going to have to send me something. Well, then I had like 20 people all at once send me stuff. So now I'm trying to put out at least one a week. So I've got enough through the end of the year for the moment. So just so you guys know where I'm on it where I'm at with that. So a new one is coming out on Saturday. So yes, I am still doing them. Careful now, Mike. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, the gnomes made it okay. <laughs> Actually, there were two gnomes I'd been dying to give her since I found them in the summer. They're, 
I can't believe they were out in the summer already, but they were Christmas snows. Hobby Lobby, yeah. <laughs> where were you at? Where did you go? Oh, Moving BJ? I think it was, why, why, why was it? No, it, I don't go to Hobby Lobby usually unless you're there. You were, no, it was sometime when you were there too, because huh. the boys and I went in and then we went scouring for presents for Tara Jean. <laughs> <laughs> um Jacqueline says it snowed in Canada. Oh my. Yeah, that's you gotta love it, don't you? Okay, monkey bread. Diana wants to know, can you use it with regular bread dough? Yes, you can. I do that all the time, but I am pretty sure I have. Let's see, maybe it's volume two. I'm pretty sure I have monkey bread for those of you who want in volume two, I think. Um, it is M, 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 monkey. Do we not have monkey bread? What? We've made, we've made it. I was sure I had it in the books. I thought for sure I put it in there. Huh. Okay. Is it on the website? Maybe I'm thinking of the website. Is is the monkey bread on the website? Let's uh, see. We had it. Living on a dime dot com. I think maybe it is. Monkey bread. Oh, okay. It was with the canned biscuits. Yeah. So, okay. So it must've been from the website on the canned biscuits is where I was remembering it from. So yeah, I make it with canned biscuits if, if I need it really fast. But you can just use the regular dough, Diana. Was I supposed to add the garden channel to the page? I mean, yep. I yeah. have to say that we were a little bit busy today. Yeah. So I didn't. I haven't. Didn't yeah. look at my to do well, list. Well, okay. All. So what happened was we ended up filming today because I took meals to a family that just had a baby, and so I was like, oh, I really need to film these. But our filming days, I'm gonna try and have them like on Tuesday or Thursday, so we're not crazy. Bill. So I I can go. I will make a note here to add that um, tomorrow when we're not coming up with. <laughs> Actually, we do have a video we're shooting tomorrow, but I'll I'll still put that on here. Yeah, Jim, Mary, love Tara. Is that my garden? Yes, it's my garden that I'm shooting for relaxing in my garden. That's why it's relaxing in my garden. So yeah, uh, Strawberry says Mac out your preps now. The fecal matter is about to hit the oscillation unit in the blink of an eye. Yes, I agree with you. Also, I would definitely make sure your preps are ready. Well, if it's a blink of an eye, we might not have to worry about it. True. We might all be gone. <laughs> Heather of the Mountains. Colored Valley Cooks does something similar. Does interactive cooking shows. So here's the thing. I used to do the cooking shows, but they were a total flop. That's why we stopped doing them. Because we weren't getting any traction with them. So... That's why I stopped doing them. But now with our new plan on laying on a dime, it may not matter. So Laura's progress, not perfection. I am finding that I am mostly shopping for back stock. I don't have a lot, but it is a working pantry. She spends about 500 for three adults. Yep. Very good. Uh, can you send me the next one? Um, yeah. I mean, I would totally, I would totally agree that I would shop my pantry as much as you can. Um, okay, so while Mike's sending me the next batch, um, macaroni and cheese is in volume two, Joanne, right here. We did not put it in volume one because volume one is the ultra super cheap recipe. So I didn't use a lot of sour cream or a lot of cream cheese in this one and those types of things. And expensive cheeses, macaroni and cheese is not, homemade macaroni and cheese is not cheap to make. It's not. So... Um, that's why it's in volume two, but it is very delicious though. Um, okay. Let's see. Well, Mike's sending, did you get those sent? Yep. Okay. Let me look at the next batch of questions here. Could you do a tip day on the shorts? Yeah. I mean, see, I'm a tip person and I love tips. It's just getting the tips onto the channel with the thumbnails and the descriptions and all of that. I don't know. Donna, what symptoms that might someone need to go gluten-free? Symptoms. Well, just Google it. But there's lots of symptoms. Headaches, diarrhea, constipation, 
bloating, gas. Um, it can cause rashes, can cause you just to be nauseated. There's all kinds. So go ahead and um, do that. Suzanne, Susan says, Tara's rant of the day. Oh, man, I don't know if the world can handle that. <laughs> I'd actually thought about going through the news and doing a rant video on whatever's in the news today. Ellen, Perry Perry is spicy. Oh, well, that would be really good then. Olympia says it's a barbecue open fire is Portuguese barbecue. Yum. Hmm. Sherry says she loves the honey baked chicken recipe in my gluten free book. No wonder it's our reader's favorite. Yes. So the honey baked is in volume one and my gluten free dairy free edition and living on a dime.com. And that is just so you guys know, our number one, number one recipe on our website, number one for good reason. And our number one recipe on Pinterest for good reason. <laughs> Jay, will you be getting the green floral planners back? No, it's only the tropical planners for now until we sell out of these. I might do the green ones after we sell out these. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. The main thing is that we we have to spend a lot of money for each different kind. Yeah. And they weren't selling very fast. And so we had a lot of money tied up in it. So we thought, which one is the most popular one? And that's, the, that's why we have this one printed right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Julie, your cookbooks are fire. That's what the youngsters say when I when it's off the chain. The way <laughs> you say the slow roast cookie is also fire. It goes for other meat too. So I'm fire, huh? <laughs> okay. I haven't heard the fire one, and man, our kids are always coming up with all the new. Mm -hmm. Heather wants to know what happened to Tara React series video idea. So here's the thing with that. I was going to do that and I was all set and ready to go. And I had everything lined up and I spent actually quite a while collecting stuff until we realized YouTube was blowing people off with copyright strikes. So we did not want to get a copyright strike. So I had to nix that idea. Hmm. Deborah, if we watch a video more than once, does it count for more hours of viewing time for you? Yes, it does. Thank you. <laughs> we'll take all the view time we can get. Because the longer you watch our videos, the more YouTube says, oh, these people like that. And then they show it to more people. Um, Julie, I'm 62 with a 19-year-old son that still lives at home. He often pays Wi-Fi phone. Yes, very good. Claudia. I just got ads too. I think my ad blocker setting needs to be activated again. No, Claudia, YouTube has a new policy that they are not allowing you to watch videos if you have an ad blocker. Well, so. they said they're seeing them live now while it's live. And I remember I said that there's a new setting on there. Mm. So I probably will need to go see about that because it's it kind of was irritating to us that at one point they started adding uh, them in the middle of videos. But what we noticed is that they weren't on while it was live. But after it was live, we we started hearing people say, I can't watch the videos because there's an ad every two minutes. And they they have this thing where it automatically places them. And then we we tried to figure out. We ended up having to go in every single show afterwards and tell it, like, remove almost all of them because they put so many in. There's you can't really watch this show very well. So I'll have to check on the live thing. I didn't know it was doing it while it was live. So sorry about that. <laughs> so somebody said here, um, Kayla, Crazy Bread, page 98, volume. Oh, Crazy mm, Bread. That's right. So Monkey Bread is Crazy yeah, Bread? Yeah, it, that's what it was. We called it Crazy Bread because when we wrote the book in 1999, it was called crazy bread instead of monkey bread back then. Well, at least at the part of the country I lived in. That's what it was. I knew we had it in there. Thank you. Thank you. I knew that. Um, I know I'm losing my mind. I didn't think I was losing it that bad. Russ, do we have a homemade mayonnaise recipe? Yes. In volume one right here. And Ellen got her cookbook today. Now she just has to remember who she bought it for. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> 
Gina, what do you think about the little mayonnaise packets? Should one toss them if they are expired? Yes. Cindy, Halloween candy is so expensive. Are you handing it out? Um, no. If you can't afford it, don't hand it out. Just turn off your light and shut your door. We do not handle it out because where we live, we don't get any trick-or-treaters. So it's not worth it for us. Um, Rose, I like watching your shows. It's teaching me more how to save money like this minute. Very good. She's trying to pay off her car. You go, girl. Julie, I once forgot to turn or, or once forgot corn on the stove. Not a bit of yellow to be found. My husband had to take the pan to work to sandblast it. Wow. Still using it 30 minutes later. Okay. So here's the thing. If you do that, we have how to save a burnt pan and here's how you do it. Um, you fill your pan with hot water and baking soda or with water and baking soda, turn it on and let it simmer 10, 15 minutes, however long. It doesn't, not too long. And that will get all of it off. And then once you scrape off the top layer, then take an SOS pad or a scraper and scrape the rest off. Ellen would love to give Tara random ingredients. So Ellen, what ingredient would you give me? I would be curious. <laughs> Hair tied. How do you know when Tara is cooking? The smoke alarm goes off. Oh, yeah, that happened today. <laughs> when I threw plastic accidentally into the oven as I was baking. Oh, what a mess. Mary Ellen, how about Bible study shorts? I don't know how you would do a Bible study in 60 seconds. I don't know how you would do that, but yeah. Um. Oh. Wanda says monkey bread is also listed as overnight bubble bread in volume one. Maybe there's a difference between the overnight, but with the monkey bread and the, so, the crazy bread in the. <laughs> really? There is overnight bubble bread. I Overnight bubble bread. Let me look. I'm wondering if those aren't both monkey bread. <laughs> Did we put it in there twice and we didn't know it? Overnight bubble bread, page 62. Oh my goodness, seriously, did we really? Page 62. Yeah. And what was the other one? Crazy bread? It was like an 89 Crazy. or something like that. Yeah. 89, you I'm, said? I can't remember for sure, but I think that's what it was. Okay, let's see. <laughs> that was seven. Uh, whoops, hold on. Let me find the crazy bread. Hold on. Now I got to look. Now that's going to drive me nuts. Crazy. Craze. Crazy bread. Page 98. I was just there, wasn't so, I? So oh, while she's looking at that, I'm curious for all the people saying about seeing ads during the live show. If, if an ad pops in and then it goes away, does it start immediately with the remaining part of what we were saying? Or does it skip that part? Because I thought it would start right where we were saying, but um, YouTube just they threw that in without asking us. <laughs> and we've noticed the same thing like when we watch uh, stuff on YouTube on our TV now, it's gotten to where all of a sudden there are a whole bunch of more ads and we're trying to figure that out. Yeah. So, okay. So, crazy bread and bubble bread are different recipes, actually. But, okay. yeah. <laughs> like oh my goodness 25 years and susan says mike's baking powder biscuits are the best yes he tested that recipe my goodness you did what 20 different variations before you came up with the one you really <laughs> liked he tested that and tested that didn't you yeah uh sandra do we decorate for halloween we don't decorate for halloween but i decorate for fall so i don't put out skeletons or ghosts or um anything satanic like that but i do do like pumpkins and scarecrows like garden scarecrows um so yes i have a lot of fall decorations but i don't do halloween you can do the next one um so also guys back to the halloween candy we buy it after halloween and then use it for christmas and valentine's day and that kind of thing huh well, that's interesting. People are saying they're getting ads on the live on Facebook too. Yeah, I think they're both. Because YouTube, at least, probably gives us a kind of ad. What I, I want to know is, is where that. my money is for Facebook. <laughs> that's what 
ticking me off. Yeah, Facebook has not been very... Um... Well, what's, what's aggravating, well, no, it's infuriating, is somebody will make a, a copyright claim on Facebook and it's not true. And Facebook doesn't have any. And they way won't to let you it. contest it. <laughs> so they just steal our money from us and it's and it's not copyright protected. <sighs> yeah. Okay, you sent me the next ones? Yep. All right. Let's see. Heather, I got to say your style of answering comments is unmatched. I've never seen anyone else do it like y'all do, especially appreciate that you don't ask people to send super chats to be acknowledged. Oh, thanks. Do people do that? I didn't know people did that. I mean, I know some people send super chats, but I didn't know they asked for them. Wow. Um, Michelle says, my nephew called stuffed animals my stuffies. <laughs> That's funny. Mackenzie just joined. Are you sick? No, it's just my allergies. It's going to freeze tomorrow. It's going to freeze tomorrow. I think it's the weed or tonight. It's the um, weed pollen. I'm really highly allergic to weed pollen and it's really bad. And so I'm just waiting for a couple of nights of really good freeze and then we'll be done. Uh, Mackenzie would love it if you shared your thoughts on Israel, but it'd probably get the effect of the algorithm and you'd get less views. Um, probably not since we've had a whole show on grocery. Do we want to share our thoughts on Israel? So my thoughts are the Bible told us this is going to happen. We're not surprised. Israel is right. Gaza is wrong. And I feel really bad for the poor people who are getting attacked when they're innocent. But at the same time, the people that are in Gaza have not kicked these Hamas, these terrorists out of the country. So that's what happens when you allow terrorists to control your country. So the other thing is, there's a lot of discussion about Israel in a negative way. And I think people need to go out and, and there Israel has been putting out a lot of video because they're always getting this. They're always getting people hating on them for anything they do. They're, and why is Israel wrong well, for defending themselves? I feel bad that they have to do it, but they're putting out video showing graphic pictures and video of what actually happened that day. And I mean, what other country tells you, hey, everybody, can y'all please clear out of here? Because we're going to come in here and blow up this building because there's bad guys and a base underneath it. And so, but in terms of... Um, it, it is very, I think probably most people that, that are believers that know something about the end times would probably have paid attention all of a sudden at this moment because a lot of the player, well, pretty much all the players that the Bible talks about in the last days are involved in this right now. Yeah. But the one difference that I see is in the end, Israel stands pretty much alone. Yeah. And that's... That, I mean, and I that think, actually I think kind I, of gives me an eerie feeling at the moment because so many people are standing with Israel and I'm like, okay, it's, something's going to turn and it's going to be interesting when it happens. But the people that are saying a lot of things against Israel, there's, a, there's so much information out there that's totally not true. And it's really easy to find the truth if you just go out and look. And I would particularly, I think the people that are vigilant, that the people that are strongly in the other direction need to go out really and look if they're Americans or, or people that have soft hearts or whatever, they need to go out and see pictures and video that's uncensored of what happened that day. And then you'll get a really good picture of what's going on over there. And unfortunately, for the there are innocent people. I think it's less than other people would think uh, in that zone. But um, unfortunately, war is not pretty. That's why we don't want to have wars. Well, and when you allow terrorists to run your country like that, that's what happens. Well, and I, mean, and I think a I'm lot of people dork, don't but... acknowledge the fact that they actually voted for this group of people to be in control of the area where they are. So 
I do know there are some innocent people there, but the other thing is that it's hard to say you're innocent if you if you see a lot of terrible, torturous death happening and you cheer. It, that seems that to not make lot. you very innocent. Yeah, yeah. That says a lot. Um, somebody said, do I have gluten-free cinnamon rolls? I don't have the gluten-free cinnamon rolls, but I do have the cinnamon roll muffins on page 58. I'm going to actually be making these for my gluten-free channel pretty soon. These are really super good, and they taste just like cinnamon rolls, but they're a whole lot easier to make for gluten-free. Were you answering Amazing Grace? Um, probably. For gluten -free cinnamon yeah. Okay. Crazy Cat Lady says, other gluten um, intolerance symptoms are aching joints, arthritis, stress, anxiety, mood swings. Yes, those are all symptoms of gluten intolerance. Um, let's see. Can you send me the next one? Uh, which one did you right, have? Seven. Uh, I didn't have time because I was sorry. Because you were yapping? Just kidding. Little Crafty Nook, thank you so much for the super chat. You and Tori, thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, what is my favorite kitchen small appliance? What do you use it most often? Um, most often kitchen appliance. I don't know that I have a favorite one, but I use my immersion blender a lot. I use my hand mixer a lot. Those are the two that I use the most frequently, I would say. So I checked and there is an ad setting and there's no way to turn it off. Yeah. There is a way I turned it to, I told it conservative, which is the most conservative setting they do, but there's no option to turn it off completely. Mm -hmm. That's odd. Cause we used to be able to choose whether there'd be ads in the middle. Yeah. Uh, Kirillie says back to Israel. What we need to remember is just as the Bible tells us that these things must happen because they're the beginning of birth pangs. Yes, exactly. To not fear. Yeah. I'm not afraid or anything. And I mean, yeah. God's already told us this is going to happen. So as a Christian, if you're surprised, don't be. I mean, did you send it to me? Did you say? What? The next batch? I Eight? don't have an next batch. Oh, you didn't? Oh, okay. Uh, um, then I'll just... Other things. Okay. Um, let me look through Do you think Amazing Grace here? Ranch is right? God has his hand on Israel and, and yeah. he has chosen Israel and... Um, I, I think that those who want to destroy Israel are going to be in for a rude awakening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. Trying to, holy cow, crazy cow lady. You have six cats. That's a lot to be feeding. <laughs> Mackenzie. Um, God's chosen people is Israel. Yes. Hel Helen, um, if you're talking about the cinnamon roll muffins, I don't remember, but you can just look it up in the index. Um, okay. Let's see. Kimmy has a Thanksgiving planning video. My friend, she's in her apron on right now. Cool. That is pretty nifty. Uh, DH. Oh, I got that one. Sorry. Kimberly, the U.S. is already turning on Israel because Biden got his ceasefire because the military is not ready to help because we don't have the munitions on the ground because he pulled everything out of the Middle East when he gave up Afghanistan. I know. Well, and I'm sorry, but it really infuriates me that he's sending aid to Gaza. This is ridiculous. I mean, I, I feel, I do, I feel bad for these people, but. But they're not getting it. They're not getting it, first of all. The money is not going to the people who are actually having having all the fallout from this. No pun intended. But um, that's just ridiculous um, for them to be sent, for us to be sent, for anybody to be sending aid over there. That's just ridiculous. So um, I'm sending you four questions. That's all that's left. Okay. <laughs> Press and I don't trust the news. Yes. I follow Amir Safante. Behold Israel is the name of his channel on um, what's that other place? Starts with a T. Telegram. Telegram. Follow him on Telegram. You'll get a lot um, more than you want to know if you go to if you follow yeah. him on Telegram. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, and he's in Israel. Yeah. 
what do you do when you don't have money to buy groceries? Nathaniel says you cut out unnecessary spending. Simple. Yes, you are totally right. You're totally right. Carissa, what is my favorite appliance? The hot water heater. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what my favorite appliance would be, actually. Joy, can you tell me what do you do if you mistakenly put a bag of sugar in the fridge and it gets hard as a rock? I thought my husband put flour in there to keep the bugs from getting into it, but it was sugar. Yes, just grate it. Just take a knife and just shave it off and it'll just grate really easy. Kimberly says my immersion blender and my toaster. I don't even use the air fryer. My husband has a little personal blender he uses for his protein shakes. I'm trying to get rid of the kitchen appliances. If I could go figure something out better than the microwave, I would do it. Yeah. I mean, I'm totally with you on that. Actually, if I didn't do cooking videos, I would probably get rid of 90% of the stuff in my kitchen. I really would. If, okay. So let me think here. If I didn't do cooking videos, I would probably get rid of everything and only keep my toaster, my immersion blender, my mixer, Maybe the air fryer, although that one's, I really don't need the, we don't really need the air fryer, but we do use it every day, several times a day. That would probably be all that I would keep. I would not even keep the crock pot. If it wasn't for recipe cooking videos, I would only use the, I, I never use the crock pot even. So, um, Wanda says, what do you do when you don't have money for groceries? Go to someone else's house to eat. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Heather, I hear a lot of Christians saying that the Israelites that are living in Israel today are not the true Israelites. What do you think about that? I think that those are not true Christians <laughs> because if you read the Bible, they are. Or so, they're just deceived. Yeah, they're just deceived. Um, I'm not clear exactly what, how it, what it means, <laughs> but Romans 11, um, 26 says all Wait, Israel will be saved. What are you talking about? For... Did somebody have a question? No, the one you just talked about, about them not being oh, true Oh, sorry. Israelites. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I God has not forgotten Israel. It's just that over the years, God has, has always, he's he chose Israel, but then, you know, when they wandered away, then he let them suffer consequences for wandering away, and then he would save them again in different sorts of ways. And we're told that he's going to do that again. And the Bible seems to say that a huge number of people in Israel will turn to him again at the end. But he, even now as it stands, he, he, he has chosen Israel. So I think it's a mistake for Christians to oppose that. Yeah, they're seriously deceived if yeah. they. It doesn't mean that everything. That. It doesn't mean that everything Israel does is is like perfect. But in the case of what's going on now, you know, I'm sorry. There's they were attacked. Well, not only that, but the the people that are, the people that are after them, their mission is just to kill them all. And there's no, the, they don't want any peace. Mm -hmm. And in a sense, when somebody's mission is to completely destroy you, you have to take some kind of action to push them back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but uh, but in terms of there's something called replacement theology where some churches think uh, Israel failed and now Christians are the real Israel. And that's false. Like the Bible says that we are grafted into the tree if we're believers, if we're Gentile believers, but that Israel is still the chosen nation and God will draw them back before yep. the end. Well, yeah. Kayla, I have to cook for 40 people. What's a good recipe or recipe? So I would do something like shredded chicken sandwiches, barbecue chicken sandwiches, or um, you could do bean goulash or chilies or green chilies with tortillas. Um, any of those would be a good um, big dinner for several people. Um yeah. Did you say air fryer? Bird Choice mm -hmm. mentioned the air fryer too. Yeah, I, probably air fryer. We use that every day, like 20 times a day. Every single person. Use, I love it for my gluten-free toast. It toasts my gluten-free bread totally perfectly. And that's what I love it for. But yeah, well, I think the boys and I like it because in a sense, it's like the microwave that makes things crispy instead of mushy. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Christine loves my chili recipe and she has stopped buying it at the store. Yes, next week I'm entering the chili cook-off. Do you think I'll win? I hope I win. I think you might. Tara, Tara's won. Oh, I when she entered before. in the county fair, <laughs> she brought home all these ribbons. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> it was funny. Um, Thank Karen you says time. Hamas in the Bible is four times and translation literally means violence. Yes, I saw that. Who was talking about that? Was it not Pastor Jack? Was it Pastor Jack talking about that? I can't remember. One of the pastors was talking about that. That was really interesting. Oh, no, it was Pastor Mark Driscoll. Um, and somebody says lots of Christians and Jews and Catholics in Palestine. Yes, there are a lot of Christians there, but who are doing missions. And I totally get that. But you have to understand if they find out you're Christian, they will kill you. And they make no beans about it. They are, they have no problem killing Christians. So while I feel really bad for those Christians who are innocent Christians, really at the same time, if they're killed, how is that bad? They're going to heaven. So that, you know, I mean, and I, they're going to get special they're going to get extra jewels and their crowns in heaven for going to those places and witnessing to those people. But, um, yeah, I mean, we have to, we have to, uh, remember that the whole point of the Muslim religion is to kill anyone who's not Muslim. Just, I don't care what anybody says. That and is not just Jewish people. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. That is what, the um Quran teaches. So anyway. Um okay, let's see. Tara, you better hope nobody enters the chili contest that has your cookbooks. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, the one thing I would say though is uh believers should we should be we should be praying for the God knows who the innocent people are. And historically um, particularly if they're his, he he protects them. I mean, sometimes he lets Christians die. And usually that's for a purpose of bringing other people to him. And so uh, I think it's, I think we should not, we should not forget the people that are innocent there, but just recognize that there are innocent people in every place where sometimes Evil has to be yeah. subdued. I mean, there were innocent people in Germany, but we had to stop them. Uh -huh. So, and because we didn't stop them sooner, more innocent people died. Yeah, yeah, lots more innocent people died. <laughs> Kenneth says your recipes are all that makes waiting for the rapture to be worth the wait. <laughs> Thank <you. laughs> oh, thanks. That's amazing. Uh, brother, Catherine, I have Christian Palestine friends who live here now. Yes, I mean we have. We have friends who are Iranian immigrants who are American citizens now, and they're from Iran. They're Christian. They're Iranian Christians. Very. We absolutely love them to death. And they've been telling us some of the horrors that are going on over there. And I'm sorry, but the Muslim faith is not one of love and kumbaya. I don't care what anybody says. It's just not true. Um, and Karen's right. This is not a political war. It's a religious war. Yes, you are. That is 100% true. 100% true. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. La... Oh, did you see Nathaniel? I have made the banana bread several times from Dining Volume 2. So yummy. Best recipe I've tried. Thank you. That banana bread is, yep. I wonder where that fits in the, because I know we've, Oh, it's top it too because it's moist because it's a moist banana bread it's right at the top also and actually that's one of the other ones that i'm going to be putting up pretty soon also um in uh super easy recipes pretty soon yeah we've tried doing recipes on this channel guys and you guys don't like them i'm sorry you don't watch them i know well, you guys vocally tell me you want them but the statistics tell me when I get 5,000 views on a recipe video and I get 25,000 views on whatever the other else video, that tells me you guys don't want recipe videos. And so that's where the problem is. Well, and I think when people sit here, you say you guys, they think that you're speaking individually to them. Not individually, what, but I mean the audience that's watching. What, what Tara means is that we, 
when we did the recipe videos, we had a group and it was a group that really liked it, but it was a really small group and no new people were coming. So from a business standpoint, it made it kind of impossible for us to pay the bills. <laughs> so uh, if, if more and more people had come and it had kind of just grown, then it would have been good that way. But there was just a very small group of people that watched them. So I appreciate the, well, I think we appreciate the fact that uh, if you were one of those people that you liked it, just that unfortunately there weren't enough people that liked it to make it possible for us to do yeah. it. Jay wants to know what our thoughts on communion are. I've been to churches that do it every service and some churches monthly and some pass a loaf of bread and most are individual prepackages kind now. I, I, all of that is fine. I don't have any opinion on that. I mean, at, at least they're doing communion and, um, I totally understand why the individual prepackage thing now with the whole COVID thing. I totally understand that. I don't have a problem with that. And I don't have a problem with the loaf of bread. I'm not a germaphobe. So I don't have an issue with any of those things. So mainly, um, <laughs> mainly the, we're supposed to get together and, and remember what Christ did for us. So there's no specific instruction of, whether you use pre prepackaged things or a loaf of bread or frequent, how frequently to do it. I think it would be good to not make it too infrequent. Yeah. But, but all the, all the things you suggested are perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, Deanna says my husband last night made the hamburger casserole and the honey garlic chicken from volume two. Oh, she has him using the cookbooks now. Yay! <laughs> That's great. Nice. Julie says, do I have a soap, soap making channel? Yes, I do. Can you put the link in there? So for two or three years, I made soap and well, I, I had a go. channel. Wait, I have and... the other five channels you want to mute. <laughs> I haven't posted any new videos on there because I just had to pick one and living on a dime was making more money than soap. So, but you can go and watch all my other videos if you want. That one's been getting some views lately, though. D. Kaset says, we pay for YouTube so we don't have to watch commercials. It's worth every pretty. I'm kind of wondering if that would be worth it for well, us. Well, you know what? I the think that's why. Commercials are really a pain in the booty. I think that's why YouTube is doing it. Because mm. I noticed that, um, first of all, I noticed that they made a really big deal about how they're trying to get around, how they're trying to get around people's ad blockers. Mm -hmm. And then they... Um, then I've noticed when we started seeing tons of ads on stuff we would watch on the TV. I mean, we didn't mind an ad now and then, but they were, they were really frequently during a 30 minute show that we watch from the eighties. <laughs> and, uh, and I noticed that every time it was like, Oh, but you don't have to watch this. If you just buy, pay, pay the monthly course. Yeah. yeah. Kenneth says the banana bread is like Satan. It wants to rise above heaven's <laughs> That's funny. That stuff is really good. Oh, yes. Uh, Cherry, apple bear and bitty is one recipe I don't have. Um, but yeah. Um, will we be having our e-cookbooks on sale for Black Friday? Probably, yes. Uh, Nathaniel says my favorite kitchen appliance is KitchenAid HD stand mixer. Very good. Uses it often for making. Ellen says I made grape soap. Thank you, Ellen. Actually, I'm getting ready to make some because uh, I had three bottles of potassium hydroxide that I was saving for something bust open. So tomorrow, I think tomorrow, I'm going to be making some soap to get that used up so I don't waste it all. Um, how much is the paid YouTube? I don't know how much it is, actually. I'm a little afraid to look because... Then they'll be like, you're interested in paying. Now they'll love you harder. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody, if you're paying, tell us how much it is. $9.99 a month, she says. $10 a month? That's more than we pay for Friendly. Oh, my goodness. Or we get a lot of TV. Well, here's what I do. I just mute them. I just mute the commercials. Now, I shouldn't say that because we get paid when you guys watch the commercials. Actually, we so. get, but we do get commercials on Friendly, don't we? Yeah. So we just mute them, which really, yeah. So guys, just watch them, but just mute them. 
Uh, Kimberly, I really enjoyed the one video you did where you were cooking and there was religious music on. There was just such a calm feeling in that video. Of course, I'm not sure with copyright issues if you could do that like that. Yeah, copyright, I wouldn't be able to, but. Um, let's see. $10. Well, this is $10 God. for single subscription. This is $25 for a family plan. Like all the family in the same house and you still have to pay $25. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that makes me really mad. Be heading back to the yeah. library for books. Yeah. And somebody said, don't for Wanda said, don't forget to hit the like button and the thumbs up guys. When you guys do the thumbs up, it shows YouTube that you like our videos and it pushes out to more people. And we greatly appreciate your support in that way. We love it. Um, and appreciate it. Oh, this is from earlier. Oh, that must be from earlier. I was like, what is that? South River says, you explained the cooking show so kindly. What did you say? I guess I wasn't paying attention. Well, I mean, just that we had some people and we really loved the group that we had. It was just a small group. and Yeah, we weren't growing and, was the problem. Right, but yeah. I think the people that were part of the group, we really appreciated you. It's just, um, it wasn't. I basically yeah. just said that it wasn't enough people. Well, and, and, and it, we problem. really weren't even supporting ourselves. I mean, we were really on the line for supporting ourselves when we were doing that. And unfortunately, what we discovered is the channel has to grow or else it just gets to a point where it, it's we're working, but it's for nothing. I mean, it's 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 volunteer work. <laughs> and unfortunately, yeah. it, that would be OK if we were only doing it in the, in the evening hours after, you know, some other thing, but it takes a, a lot of work to, to get it together. So. <laughs> Connie puts her, puts our channel on for her cat to watch while she's doing errands when she leaves. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's thanks. great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's Interesting. see. Interesting. SW says the cost depends where you sign up. I sent up through my YouTube account. It was cheaper than my husband's account who went through Apple Store. Interesting. Huh. Huh. Eva, the new versions of Dining on a Dime, this is the newest edition. It does have extras such as homemade cleaners and bath and beauty, gifts in a jar, all of those. Yes. So, uh, Cindy, Tara, you were starting to talk about buying soda and not affording it on the rant. Was I earlier? What was, what was I talking about buying sodas? What was I well, Someone earlier had said that she had drank, she drank her last soda and was never buying anymore. What was, was I going to say that? about that? Huh, I can't remember. Uh, yes, Julie, I have a gluten-free, dairy-free edition. 35% off right now, livingonadime.com. Also, guys, we have all of our cookbooks 35% off. Our daily planners are 10% off right now. 400 pages, 365 days um, for all of those. Thank you, Amy, for going back and watching our old videos. She loves the cooking comments, co comics. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny well and the problem is to do the cooking videos i don't know if i'd be able to have mike or mom on because that was part of the problem with doing the cooking videos so i can, used to be mostly on the cooking videos with you right? yeah but like if mom is on with the cooking videos that doesn't work very good so i don't know what we would do but anyway so because I was doing the all the moderating and all that. Which yeah, she can sort so of. So she would but... just sit there like a bump on a log and not really be able to do anything if I'm doing the cooking. And she doesn't like doing the cooking videos. So, um, hmm, yeah. Ellen well, says, I'm tempted to buy a soda stream for my husband with the amount of Dr. Pepper he drinks. I don't think that would save you money, though. You Well, you're good at doing the prices, so really make sure that it would be cheaper. Because if it's cheaper, then go for it. But if it's not, I don't know that I would. I was thinking about trying to make my own. My friend, remember in when I uh, organized my friend Lois's uh, pantry? She had that root beer flavoring. She gave it to me for me to try making my own root beer flavored seltzer water soda water whatever you want to call it and so that's kind of what i was wanting to try too elizabeth how's my mom she's doing great 
And I think that's it. All right, guys, livingonadime.com. Our cookbooks are on sale 35% off until Thursday. And our daily planners 10% off until Thursday. We will be back on Wednesday's show. And visit us at livingonadime.com. Thank you guys so much. We love you and appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for being here. See you next time. Bye. Bye.